been down here fishing these sort of fast flowing rapids in the back of the Wenlock River. Got ourselves a couple barra. Got one here, got a smaller one earlier. A couple Saratoga. This guy here is coming down for a feed with us. So is the other one. Um, let go of the togas. But yeah, we'll do a bit of a catch and cook I suppose with this guy. I'll fill it him up for you, show you, show you what, what I'm going to do with him. But yeah, pretty nice fish. Out of the windlock. Nice healthy little fish. Just pulled a nice Saratoga out as well. Very cool fish. Very prehistoric looking. Big mouth designed for that top water surface feeding. Smash my lure as soon as it hit the water. Get him back. So I just brain spiked that fish. Now I'm just going to cut behind the gills. Not a very bloody species of fish, but it's just better for the meat quality to bleed them. standing on from last wet season, this is how high it got. But then you can see the actual top of the bank is all the way out there. So when you have a big wet, whole way, all the way over there to the top of that bank, this is how big the river is. We're basically standing on the bottom of it right now. It's pretty unbelievable to think how much water actually comes through here and how low it gets down now in the dry season. Oh, I just seen a barra. Just, I've seen him follow me a little straight through the wash here. I'll see if I can pull it past and coax him into eating it. <laughs> hit it. <laughs> hit me. You got us hit hard. <laughs> Out the scenery. Look at where the water levels are right up here. These big drop offs. Very interesting habitat. You can see the river running through along there.
Can you call the bottles? I don't know. I don't even know where the road is. I don't even know where you were. I thought you were on the road, and then I was like, oh, maybe you crashed. <laughs> maybe you crashed. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I was just like. <laughs> Yeah, we crashed. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't say shit. Uh, I'll just um, try and line it up for one of these trees and we'll pull the four bar out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dipping it back in the car. I don't think it's dinosaur on the way. Look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, this thing has no brakes at all. The brake lines are non-existent, so he's just grinds into gears to start and puts it in reverse to stop. Ruthless old beast. It's gonna come the lack of it. Show us what you got. Who did that? Who did that? It wasn't me, bro. Well, it wasn't me. Someone else must have been driving. Oh, yeah. Walk of shame. <laughs> Guy. Oh, he's big. Yeah, he's massive. This is a big eastern blue tongue. 
or it's what they call an eastern blue tongue now anyway. Um, it's really late Arvo. We just had a pretty nice sunset, but it's gone now. I just heard some weird Yeah, what was that? Yeah, anyway. Yeah, and I was just about to overtake a truck coming through this causeway back there. And I'd just seen this guy cruising off the road, so I jacked on the brakes, pulled over, jumped out, and I just found him sitting in the brush on the side of the road next to us. This guy's massive, and these North Queensland blues are very distinctive. They got trademark colour and patterns that is very typical of up here. You can, if you're picking a wild animal, you can really tell where they're from. And if you go for captive standards, I suppose you'd be calling this like a reduced pattern, realistically. As you can see, he's got heaps of un broke, unbroken, yeah, broken bands, lots of, yeah, pattern that's sort of reduced, but this is quite typical for up here. They're also quite a large lizard. It's almost, that's a very northern sized, a northern sized lizard. It's got a bit of a northern sized, uh, a bit of a northern attitude as well. Look at him carrying on, flashing that blue tongue, just trying to warn me off. They, <laughs> They just use that tongue, it's just so bright and just flicking out, it's big, it's just, it's just, would be just a bit of a shock, a disturbing, I don't know, look at it, you see how he's just flashing it? And it's like, yeah, they literally just, they just throw it at you and it's just meant to scare you off and it's really bright, so, you know, I can, to something that's not used to seeing colours like that, I suppose with a big wide mouth and flicking his tongue, it probably ward me off if I was some sort of predator, but... Yeah, very cool lizard. Pretty typical, like you've seen in most of my other videos. Late Arvo, night time, early morning in warm areas for blue tongues. This is late Arvo, he'd be out here cruising through these. Through these, um, oh, they're sort of flood, not really flood plains, they're just sort of just grassy plains, but um, yeah, just looking for insects, any plant matter he can find, whatever really. Maybe even looking for a mate. But yeah, I'd be, I'd probably call this as a big boy. He's got a pretty boxy head on him. And there's someone coming. I don't We're, know why. It's coming from this way. We're off the road. We'll get right. I think we'll get right coming from both. Sketchy old roads out here. Um, just wave the old mate down, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> they're fucking black birds. <laughs> But yeah, beautiful lizards. First blue tongue I've seen in the trip. And it's a very nice example of one. I'm happy to happy to see, always happy to see blueies actually. I really do enjoy me blue tongues out here in the wild. So always a good find. It's good to see them kicking around. We're in toad country, so these guys did cop it, but I think now they're starting to bounce back. Now all they gotta worry about is the fires, which is absolutely wiping the last of the native wildlife. So it's rather unfortunate, but he's very healthy. He's in prime shape. Got another car coming, which is unfortunate because I'm gonna have to take him after this. Good stuff, we'll get him back. We'll get back on the road. We're going in, we're gonna have a beer. Gonna have a fish. And yeah, that'll do us. Go on, mate. Oh, I'll take him off the road. I'll take him right off the road. There you go, buddy. You are right, mate. I just like showing you moving. Leave him be. Get back on the road. 